Stage 9 was Mont Zonkolande, the second time the women's person have climbed one of the sport's toughest climbs. With rows being closed very early in the day, spectators were arriving well before the race, many choosing to ride up this beautiful mountain. At 1,750 metres above sea level, the 11-kilometre climb had an average gradient of 11% and much steeper in some places. However, the ascent of the Zonkolon came after over 90 kilometres of racing, the stage beginning in the valley of Kasako, the peloton first assembling in the centre of the picturesque town of Trisacimo. Oh, I think uh, is, something interesting is happening. Surely uh, it's going to be a very hard and... Um, I'm curious to, to, to know what the teams uh, will do, to be fair. Um, I think we saw that there are girls that can uh, still attack, uh, so it's going to be uh, interesting again and I will watch to the highlights today. Uh, it's uh, Sonkolan going to be uh, more or less a time trial. It's uh, not much you can do, it, I think, so you have to ride your pace if you overdo things then uh, that can be uh, a bit damaging, but uh, now we have uh, we are in a really strong position. So um, hopefully, uh, Anami can spread it, have a good day, and then pace it right. Yeah. So I have to see, but I hope I will have the legs for the climb. But I, I don't know about my shape because, yeah, it's been uh, eight hard days. But that's for everyone. But I will see what I can do. I will just ride my own space and see what I good for and then, yeah I will always do my best and push myself maybe I get a new FTP today also I get one every day so <laughs> so that's good so yeah the climb coming at the end of a long hot week the race was sure to be intriguing as is customary the Pelton was sent on its way by local dignitaries before the flat opening kilometers across the 104.7 kilometer stage in the Friuli Venezia Giulia region Early on the climb, Ashley Mormon Passio attacked, drawing out the Malia Rosa and Amique Van Floyten from the bunch, and soon built up a significant lead on their rivals. Starting the day with a big advantage, Van Floyten had no need to lead, allowing the South African to take the front on the fearsome ascent. Behind Spanish champion Movistar's Ida Marino and former race leader Amanda Spratt followed, but were constantly losing time on the leading duo, whose advantage increased as the race's strongest, most talented riders stamped their authority. Behind them, Lucinda Brand led a quartet including Megan Garnier, Anna Santesteban and Margarita Garcia. Spratt and Marino battered it out throughout the climb, each launching one slow motion attack after another, hoping the other would break. At the front, on the steepest part, Woman Pasio pushed hard but was unable to drop Van Floyten, and it was the Dutch woman who launched her attack on one of the flatter parts of the climb, instantly gaining a gap on the South African. World time trial champion Van Floyten led by nearly a minute coming into the final kilometre of the iconic climb. And though Melman Passio was able to close the gap, the crowds gathered on the top of the Zonkolon were cheering only for Van Floyten, as she laboured over the painted tarmac and towards the finishing line. Having clawed back some time, Mormon Passio finished 40 seconds behind the victor. After their fierce fight, it was the winner's teammate Spratt who managed to gap Marino in the final metres to take third place. It was epic to, to finish up here on Zonkelan. Um, it was very steep, but I had some confidence today. My team was amazing today. I didn't have to do anything until the Zonkelan started. And then I felt super good. So I took some confidence out of the time trial that I know that was uphill, doing very well. I just have to follow uh, Ashley Molman. Uh, but I really wanted today also to win the stage. For sure, uh, the GC lead is the most important thing. Um, but that also, yeah, how, how often can we finish on a mountain like this? So to win here is very special and yeah, to extend my lead also. And with winning here on the Zonkeland, it's like, I'm happy now to enjoy it because I did not enjoy it on the, on the climb. Just before we hit the flat part, she took advantage. I mean, she was sitting my wheel all the way. So of course, you know, I was expecting it, you know, attack from her. And I, I tried my best to follow, but I also know on the Zonkeland that um, if you go too deep, you know, it's very possible that you can completely blow. So I let her go a little bit and I was hoping I could come back. And as we were coming closer and closer to the finish, I was closing in on her, but um, I ran out of climb um, to, to win. So yeah, that was a little bit of a disappointment because today I really would have liked to have won the Zonkeland. If I wasn't going to win the Giro, it would have been nice to have won the Zonkeland. But having said all that, I'm really proud of my effort. I gave it everything that I did. My team was incredible today to support me and to make sure that I came to the climb. Um, 
I'm in the best position to give it everything that I could and that's exactly what I did. It, I never did something like this, as hard as this. It was so brutal and yeah, you have one pace, you can't go, you can't go fast. I was going five kilometers per hour and I was wondering how the first one could go faster than this because yeah, it's super hard. Actually, maybe the last two kilometers are a bit, a bit easier, but you arrive and you're so tired. So actually, it's just so hard the wall, the wall climb. Um, but when you arrive on the Galerias, maybe okay, you're like it's the last kilometer. So just, I just give my max now. Well, I guess you, yeah, mentally you're thinking, okay, it's nine days in. I, I just have to survive this climb, and then there's one day left, and. And so, um, yeah, the end is in sight, so, so you just need to keep going. Yeah, it's absolutely brutal. That's the hardest climb I've ever done. 2016 Giro winner Megan Garnier finished in fifth place, exactly four minutes down, with Ali Cipollini's Anna Sintestaban finishing seventh, 39 seconds behind the American. Van Fluyten's win extends her general classification lead, while Mormon Passio and Spratt each moved up one place to second and third, respectively. Ida Marino's breakout performance takes her into the top 10, behind the leader in 8th place. 